Many families who lost everything in the Oregon Road fire are now living in trailers. Some still don't have utilities, but volunteers with the New Hope Resource Center are working to change that before temperatures drop this winter. Marissa Rio has the story. This property once housed a couple and their daughter. They aren't insured, so they are now living in a donated trailer. They say if it weren't for the New Hope Resource Center, they don't know what they would do. The day of the fire, Freddie, who inherited the property from his late father, was stuck in one of the garages. And by the time I got out of it and opened the door, it was at that tree. And I just had to leave on foot. Um, it was crazy. The next day, he and his girlfriend came back to find everything destroyed. Only their garage survived. Since they moved into the trailer, New Hope volunteers have helped restore their utilities. If it wasn't for New Hope, I don't know, I probably would have just walked away from it, you know. Um, sad to say, but I just wasn't financially set to do anything. The couple only has the donated trailer for a few more weeks. We are trying to convert this garage into a place to live for the winter until we can rebuild next year. The garage will house the family of three. New Hope Resource Center has already hooked it up with electricity, sewer, and water. The Mormon Church in Elk will do the construction. Their volunteers will build bedrooms, a bathroom, and kitchen. It's going to be like a refab home, I hope. You know, I mean, you know. But from the looks of it, you know, <laughs> so far so good. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, my, uh, they dug 350 feet for just to run my water. Um, you know, and it, yeah, it's just, uh, they've been so like, I, outstanding. Um. Volunteers are trying to help as many families as they can, but they need more people. We've been kind of a small crew out here, but it takes time to gear up. But again, we're running out of time with winter coming. For more information on ways that you can help, you can visit our website at kxly.com. Reporting in Elk, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now.